see. Look. There it is. Let me see. One, two, three. Hey. <laughs> there it is. Oh, baby's finally getting a tooth. I love it. Yeah. Can you show it off again? Can we see it again? Let me see. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> yes. Oh, baby girl's getting to be a big girl. Oh. She getting big girl TV. cranky at night it's like she wants me to hold her but then she doesn't want me to hold her and then she comes back and cries because I didn't hold her <laughs> it's a girl <laughs> oh my goodness she has teeth and now she can eat more food than just mushy stuff <laughs> but she used to have just like a big gummy smile just gums everywhere and now Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is one of the more exciting days of pregnancy because today is my anatomy ultrasound. Um, usually for me, my last three kids, they would do this at the 20 week appointment and that was usually when I would find out the gender. This time around, my doctor, we ended up doing it with the blood work so I ended up finding out like at 15 weeks um, and I'm only 18 weeks right now and they ended up doing the anatomy ultrasound today, 18 weeks instead of 20 weeks. So for me, that was really exciting because I love this part. Um, so I'm here in the parking lot. I'm about to get ready to go in. I've got my coffee because this baby doesn't like to move. <laughs> I'm hoping that maybe the coffee's gonna jolt them a little bit so they can get good views and pictures and all of that stuff and so I can see him really well. Um, but I'm super excited about this and I'm excited that y'all are coming along with me. So if you didn't know already, um, I'm a mom of three kids. I'm pregnant with my fourth. I have two boys and one girl and we just found out that we're having another boy, third boy. Um, if you haven't seen my gender reveal video, I will leave it here somewhere up at the top of the screen if you want to click on that and watch it, or I'll leave it in the description if you want to wait till the end of this video to watch it. Um, it was very fun and very exciting, but anyways, I need to get into my appointment. They will not let me uh, video in there, but I'll try to get as much as I can, and then they will send me pictures and videos, and I will add that to the vlog, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. Hi, I'm here to check in. No. Okay, thank you. favorite part of pregnancy one of my favorite doctor appointments is this ultrasound because it's really long you get to see everything they explain everything about the baby and how it looks and oh, I'm so excited they have been doing such an amazing job here with everything going on with the virus they had us sitting outside of the waiting room <coughs> um, we were all spread out and there was a sign on the door to call to check in and then they ask you you know all these questions and once you get through that part then there's a nurse that comes outside and takes your temperature um, and then she goes back in and then the person that comes out the nurse that comes out to bring you back 
everybody's wearing masks and gloves and full, the full thing. Um, but I think they're doing an awesome job. Yeah, I'm just so excited, y'all. Uh, oh, I can't wait to see baby boy. So if you saw my last ultrasound here, then you know what this room looks like, but I just think this room is so pretty. We have a big TV. Look at this beautiful chandelier. It just makes it feel really pretty and the lighting is really cozy. And then of course we have a chair that reclines and then their whole setup. But I just love this room. I think it's so beautiful and I always feel so comfortable here. I love it and I can't wait. Ah! And there you can see my, my coffee, <laughs> my phone, <laughs> my two must haves. All right, y'all. I got some of it done. It's, you're not really gonna be able to see anything. I think that's like a hand right there and an arm, part of an arm. But um, we want the doctor to come in and for her to do the first skin. What you doing? I heard you singing in here. I heard you singing. Was you singing? Huh? You want to get out? Come on, baby girl. Okay, can you pull it? Gotta pull this one. No, this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mamas. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. 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 start um, so today in the ultrasound everything was going fine until okay so it, I'm gonna backtrack if you've never been pregnant before when you go into the ultrasound um, the ultrasound tech can't really tell you what they're doing so if they go over something a hundred times, even if you ask questions, they won't tell you if they're concerned about something or if they're just trying to find a certain thing, they have the doctor come in and do that. So it can get nerve wracking because the normal anatomy ultrasound, they check every part of the baby and they take measurements and they take pictures and then they watch the blood flow. And I'm used to all that. I've done this, it's my fourth time around. I know what it's like, I know what to expect. You're there for quite a long time. Um, you know, like they're taking measurements of the spine, making sure everything's connecting. They do the heart, the heart valves, the brain, um, the skull, you know, where the eyes and nose and everything, the profile. They do arm length, leg length, feet, toes, um, everything. So 
it's a lot of stuff but she kept going back to the heart and taking pictures taking blood flow videos different positions different directions go in to look at something else coming back to the heart and she did it like 10 times and then I started feeling nervous because then I'm looking at it and I'm even though this is my fourth baby I'm not an ultrasound tech I didn't go to school for that I don't know what they're really looking for by the way I'm sorry if you'll hear my kids in the background they're playing and they get really loud when they play um, but I wanted to shoot this before all the daylight's gone so I start getting really nervous and so I start asking her like what exactly are you looking for when you do this you know when you do the blood flow because to me it just looks like patches of blue and red you can't I don't see like a flow <laughs> And she's like, well, you know, she just really all she says is, well, when you go to school, you learn what it's supposed to look like. So that way, when you're doing it, you know that it's wrong if there's something wrong because it doesn't look the way that you learned. And I'm like, OK, well, obviously that didn't give me inf any information. Um, after a while, I realize we haven't she really hasn't shown me the spine. I haven't seen her taking pictures of the spine. We got pictures of the head circumference. Um, the leg and again just kept going to the heart she did do a little 3d one for me so i could see him and it was really cute i've never had a 3d one at 18 weeks done usually we would go somewhere and pay money extra money to do it for fun when we're like 32 to 34 weeks pregnant um the baby has more fat on them then they look more like what they're gonna look like when they come out so it looks better during 3d i'd never seen it at 18 weeks and it looked very cool he looks very small <laughs> obviously he's still growing um but i was freaking out y'all so she's like okay um i got what i needed uh the doctor is gonna come in in a minute which is normal this happens every time the tech does her thing takes a while they leave and they wait for the doctor to come in the doctor will come in do her ultrasound just to go over everything I think just to double check um, or if maybe she, the, the tech couldn't find something maybe the doctor can so that's normal so that part didn't freak me out I sat there y'all it felt like 30 minutes that they were gone and nobody came back and of course, in those like 30 minutes, my mind is racing. I'm like trying to close my eyes because they leave the lights dim in there, thinking just take a little nap, wait for the doctor to come. I'm sure they're busy, everything's okay. And it's like I would finally get to the point where I would get calm and I was praying the whole time. You know, I was like speaking into existence positive vibes and thanking God for this healthy baby and all of these things not thinking of the negative and it's like all of a sudden my heart felt like it was going to jump out of my chest and it would get this feeling like there's something wrong there's something wrong there's something wrong and i haven't had that feeling in a long long time and knowing that there's something there's a person growing inside of you that you have no control over like you can't dig in there and check to see if they're okay and the only way that you know is you're going off of your doctors whether you've gotten blood tests or ultrasounds but that's still not a guarantee that they don't have any problems or that there isn't anything else going on so i was freaking out and I kept trying to calm myself down. I was getting anxiety. It was bad. Um, the doctor finally came in and of course she's real chirpy and she comes in. Oh, here's baby girl. Yeah. You want to say hi? Hi. Yeah. Say my name's Jade Lynn. I love to play with everything and scream when I don't get my way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Yay! Can you give me a high five? Yay! Mm, good yeah. job. No, he don't need to touch. Oh, oh God, baby, just hit me right in the chin. Ow! Jumped up and hit me in the chin. Now I'm gonna have a bruise on my chin. 
Can't believe you didn't cry. That had to hurt your head. Mom lies. No. <laughs> Mama, you gotta go. <laughs> you can't sit in front of the camera the whole time. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's so interested in all the buttons. Mama. Hey. <laughs> Why are you so cute? So, <laughs> every time I talk, she's like, oh, are we talking to the camera? Hey. No. Ah. No. Ah. <laughs> I think she's like trying to make sure it's her in there in the because she can see herself. Yes. Is that you? Is it? Oh, it is you, Mama. No. So the doctor came in, said everything looked great. The baby's growing on the due date, on the dot, doing great. Um, <laughs> she only had time. Mama. I gotta finish this, baby. Okay. She did say, though, that um, the tech could not find, or I guess couldn't get the most accurate read on like the heart and the spine and all of those things because this baby is curled up in a ball and will not move. Pretty much like all my other kids, um, the more I have, the more they bury themselves lower and further back. And so this one, he is just way down there. He has literally this much room. When they show it on the ultrasound, it's just black. All this area is black. He has all this room, but he comes right down here in this little tiny spot all the way at the bottom, which when I feel him moving at night, I'm, that's exactly where it is. It's way down low and way in the back. Um, but so she shows me, she's like, we cannot get him to move and we just can't get the right measurements. And so they don't feel comfortable, obviously, putting that stuff down if it's not accurate or they don't believe it's accurate because they can't get a full read on it. Um, she did say that there was, they didn't see. <laughs> she said from what they did get that they didn't see any problems with it. Um, no concern so far but obviously that my OB, my doctor is gonna want certain readings and certain numbers. Um, and so she said, come back in four weeks because by then the baby will be bigger and hopefully that means that they're gonna move up higher where they have more room to be able to stretch out more and they'll be able to get a better read. So <sighs> thank you, Jesus. There was nothing wrong, at least not yet. You know, I don't wanna say everything's perfect and you know anything could happen so but for now everything she said was great um, I do have this really weird you'll probably see it in the ultrasound pictures um, but there was like this big blob that it looked white and I was like what is that you know right up next to the baby and she said that's your placenta and she's like that is actually one of the other things the doctor your doctor wants my doctor wants um, because it's so close to my cervix that some doctors are a little bit weird about that and they wanna know the exact measurement because it could become a concern later on. Now I'm only 18 weeks, so I have <laughs> I have plenty of time for it to move out of the way. The baby you know, gets bigger, pushes it out of the way and moves it to where it's supposed to be, thankfully, um, hoping that's what happens. Um, but what's so crazy is like he's like the all this space in the uterus for the baby to grow and then right down here is like this little white it looks like a white rock on the ultrasound but that's where like the placenta is all bundled bundled up and you can see it like coming out and then the cervix is right here and then right here is the baby and they have, he has all this space and it's almost like this big old space and then it comes down tiny like this because of the placenta sitting here. And here's the baby. <laughs> so another reason why they couldn't get a good read on him or even getting him to move was because of the placenta being in the way. So 
it was just a lot y'all and it's my fourth child i'm older and i've heard you know with high-risk pregnancies which they don't consider me a high-risk pregnancy yet because i'm not at that age mark but it is my fourth child and anything can happen so i know that you know they're just trying to be cautious as i would want them to be because this is an important thing you know this is a, a life that we're bringing into this world <clears throat> we want everything to be perfect and healthy and as good as possibly can be I know everything is in God's hands but that doesn't mean I'm not human and I don't have fears and anxieties I think all mamas do so that was a little scary for me today definitely made my heart skip a couple beats freaking out a little um, I'm grateful that afterwards I got some good news um, you know I'm not even I'm only two weeks away from halfway there so I'm not really even halfway there yet so I got a ways to go but other than that I loved being able to see baby boy we do not have a name yet we have some ideas I might do a video on my channel about that about different names that we've picked out um, or not really picked out but like you know the list of names that you're like yeah I really like these now we have to narrow it down kind of thing <sighs> y'all it's just been a long day but I also want to talk about I think I've said this a million times in this video but I'm 18 weeks along um second trimester your second trimester starts on the 13th week just crazy and in my first trimester, I had the most excruciating morning sickness I've ever had in my life. Um, I had to get on medication for it. If you've watched my video on, it's called First Trimester Blues. I talk all about my first trimester. Um, and then I also have First Trimester Essentials and in there I talk about it too and what helped me get through that. So if you are going through a first trimester, either your first baby your second your third it really doesn't matter because they're all different and they all it's all different every single time um and you want to give it a watch because maybe you're looking for new products or someone to relate to <laughs> i'll leave those down below oh so, second trimester you also get your energy back <laughs> um so far i have gotten a lot of my energy back and i think a lot of that comes from not having morning sickness anymore um at least not as bad as, as it was so that has helped me but being a mom of three kids and in quarantine meaning we're home all day every day um not that i wasn't a stay-at-home mom before i was i just didn't have my husband and my older son here 24 7 with me with my other two kids so with that being said and all the housework and the cooking and the snacks and the schoolwork and videos and everything else that we're doing it's really taking it out on me so i will say that my sense of smell is super heightened i mean there are things that i cannot stand i can't even name off specific things and I don't know if this is because it's my fourth and I just don't care anymore, <laughs> but there are times where I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that? And or my husband will pull something out of the fridge and I'm like, if you don't get that out of the house, I could be in the other room and I just cannot stand it. So no more morning sickness. Sense of smell is crazy. Definitely have cravings, but not for anything specific. I will say I definitely like more sweet stuff than salty but then again there are days where i don't really eat hardly any sweets and i love okay there is one thing i love the tostitos um chili con queso and chips tortilla chips to dip them in i've always liked them but i never ate them that much and now it's like i have to do that every day i love them a lot that and haagen chocolate uh peanut butter ice cream or the dryers brand of peanut butter chocolate ice cream those two three things are like oh 
I love them. But other than that, I do crave quite a few things just at different times and kind of just when they pop in my head and I like have to have it at that moment. Um, my exhaustion is gone except for the fact that we're home and we have a lot to do so that makes me tired and I'm pregnant. Now, I talked about this in another video but I have a lot of back problems without being pregnant so when I get pregnant it does get worse. Usually it doesn't get really bad until I'm bigger, I'm like in my third trimester. This time around it started hurting in my first trimester which actually happened in my second pregnancy um, but it did not happen when I was pregnant with Jade so I don't know why. With her my main problem was my pelvis. Um, I cannot remember, it's called like lightning crotch or something like that, but it feels like your pubic bone is being ripped apart at the bottom and usually that doesn't happen until you're about to go into labor, but for me it happened in the first trimester and it went on till my third, so that was not fun. Um, this time around I'm thinking, please, not yet, I hope I don't get that yet. I hope it's not till later on but the one thing I did get this time around was the back pain early on so I clean the kitchen I do laundry I sweep I mop I vacuum I tidy up the living room by then my back is hurting me so badly that I need to lay down I have to put creams on it or get in the bathtub and then from then on I feel like a crippled person like I can't walk and it makes me so angry because then I'm like, but I still have the bathrooms to do and I still have this to do. And I told my husband last night, I was like, I hate this so much because I wanna be able to be a mom and a homemaker and I wanna do these things. It's yes, we need to do them because if we don't, the house would be a disaster. But there are days where I'm like in the mood and I wanna get these things done and I'm, I feel pride for that and I feel good about it and I can't even do it. I'm like, I'm a mom and a wife and I can't even clean my own house without my whole body breaking down. So that's really annoying. Um, but my husband, you know, he always likes to point out that he's like, well, this is the last one. And after this, you'll never have to do that again. I'm like, yeah, I guess. So I don't want to, I don't take this for granted by any means. I love being pregnant and I'm so grateful. And there's so many women out there that have tried and tried and just haven't succeeded yet. And I want you to know that I'm thinking about you guys and I'm praying for y'all and it will happen. I promise you it will happen because I was where you were um, or where you are. So miracles happen every day. It may not happen the way that you want it to happen or when you want it to happen, but it will happen. You will have a family, you will have a daughter, a son, twins, triplets, whatever it may be, you will have it. I promise you that. Because if that is in your heart, that is a promise from God and he does not. His promises always come true. So <clears throat> just know that. So I am super grateful. <sighs> but yeah, I don't think I have any other crazy things going on right now. Oh yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope y'all will still follow along with me in this journey of my last pregnancy, our fourth baby, our third baby boy. Um, and if you do, and if you're new, please subscribe. Make sure you press that notification bell. And don't forget to like this video if you like this pregnancy topic content. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be putting out, I'm gonna be putting out pregnancy content anyway, but I would love to know what kind of stuff that you guys are into. Um, so if you like this video, that tells me that y'all are liking my pregnancy content. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all next time. I hope y'all have a great day. Staying home, staying safe, staying healthy. And thank you. We love y'all. Say subscribe. Yeah. Thank you and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Baby sitting together.
together. Look how cute. <laughs> He's so sweet.